The latest news headlines now on BBC One with Kasha Madeira. Hello, good afternoon. The World Cup is finally underway in South Africa. More than 90,000 people attended the opening ceremony at the newly rebuilt Soccer City Stadium in Johannesburg, where the hosts are taking on Mexico. England play their opener against the USA tomorrow. This is BBC News, the headlines at 8 o'clock. Ministers extend Sarah's law to allow parents to check whether people with access to their children are known sex offenders. Also coming up in the next hour, can he win for a third time at St Andrews? Tiger Woods' bid for another golfing record, but once again the focus falls on his private life. Hello and welcome, I'm Kasia Madeira. Voting has finished in the UK's most closely fought general election for years. Counting is underway, but it's not yet clear who will form the next government. This is BBC News with Kasia Madeira and Jane Hill. A main summary now of our news at 12.31. The business tycoon Azal Nadir is due to return to Britain today to face corruption charges. <laughs> Hello, I'm Adam Parsons. And I'm Kasia Madeira. Now, thanks to you lot, every week we get hundreds of pictures, stories and ideas sent into the BBC. We painstakingly look at every single one and we pick out the very best ones. To produce your news. Hi there, I'm Kasia. The Real Hustle's coming right up after your last update. A grand entrance for Gordon, he's spoken to the party conference as PM, and he promised more student grants, a higher minimum wage, and the boot for immigrants found with guns. Well, we're going to break into this programme to bring you some breaking news this hour, and there are reports that four people have been killed in two explosions in the Indonesian capital, Jakarta. And we can just bring you some breaking news on this. Uh, President Obama is fully committed to clearing up that oil spill. He's sending his top people to the site. Russia is a strong contender, though. It's got a lot of backing. Are you not concerned in terms of perception that further down the line, when they come to make the decision, this will look bad? Our legal affairs analyst, Clive Coleman, is here with me now. It's a complicated case, Clive. He's due to touch down at about 1.30. What can he expect? What's his position when he does so? To be fair to David Cameron, going back to that point, he did say that Pakistan has made progress in terms of trying to drive out terrorist groups. But there is, you cannot dispute the fact, there is concern that there are elements, there are still groups within Pakistan that do harbour this support. He's been adamant it's not um, motivated by money. He was, as you say, talking about uh, respecting his privacy. But was this an error of judgment? Well, let's get some reaction to this from another legend of the airwaves, the radio presenter Tony Blackburn. And Hello. Tony, this is sad news, isn't it? Yes, it is. I mean, he's been around a long, long time. It's been brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. So yeah. have you been coaching people on how to deal with a celebrity? Because obviously <laughs> you're, you're the X Factor person. <laughs> Now it's time for some glitz and glamour and I'm not just speaking about Simon McCoy. It's the 25th <laughs> London Fashion Week. Tell me about the video. You're in a music box. Is this you being trapped by your music? Am I reading too much into this? You're definitely reading too much into it. Jocelyn, you won't mind my asking, but you've been around for ages. How do you do it? And you two look so much in love. How do you keep that going? Well, we live in separate houses. No way, come on. The cheeky it's because the girls like it like this. I think on those wise words, we'll wrap it up. And you can see that cheeky grin at Madame Tussauds in central London. It is now 22 minutes past 11, which means it's time to take a look at the Sunday papers. With me is John Tarod, who writes for The Spectator. Thank you very much for coming in. It's lovely to see you again. We start with the very sad news of Dr. Karen Wu. Well, we do. And This is what £6 million looks like spent on film lovers. You've got a brand new studio over there, state-of-the-art facilities. And this is the best bit. This is where you get to see the archive. Types. We've got an A-list star cast of celebrities at the Mojo Awards. Behind me is Slash, there's plenty more inside. We'll find out who's won what. Well, here at Trafalgar Square in central London, the Polish community have joined together to mourn the loss of their political elite. And here behind me, you can see a large screen where that mass in Krakow is being screened out to everybody here. Of course, many people wanted to be in Krakow, wanted to travel to Poland for this, but couldn't. But we thought we'd treat the election tent to a day at the races. Take a look at this. The horses are just preparing ahead of the next race. Lots of people milling around as well, looking to see which horse is going to be their winning bet. Lots of bookies as well taking those bets. 
Kettering is a really interesting constituency. It's a rural constituency and just take a look at this. That view, isn't it sensational? It's beautiful, it's also really practical because that is the race horse. And Kettering is a two horse race. If we take a look at the notional election results for 2005, you can see that uh, it's really tight between the Conservatives and the Labour Party Conservatives just pipping the post. Officials say the deal is worth more than the asking price, which was nearly nine million dollars so it's uh, not me putting an offer in there no because that would just be cash now uh, let's get whether he's Matt Taylor so let's get back down to earth for some <laughs> business news sorry that's terrible that's no, okay puts our jobs into perspective exactly, doesn't it okay exactly. thanks very much indeed absolutely amazing <laughs> it's remarkable the daiquiri bit is what's really amazing right anyway let's move on let's get some sport with Amelia now it's coming up to one o'clock. Kate Silverton will be here with the one o'clock news. But first of all, let's get the weather with Thomas Schaffernacker. Graham Satchel there, but is it going to be warm enough to actually get into the garden to do any planting? Carol, how's the weather for us? Well, for some of us, Kasha, yes. But let's find out if there's anything out there other than rain. Let's get a full weather report. The weather, sunny spells in Scotland and Northern Ireland, cloudy and wet in other areas. George Allagar will be back with the BBC News at six. Now we join our news teams where you are. Bye bye for now.